On the right, you see the majestic Milky Way galaxy. Because it is a flat galaxy that you see from the side, it appears to us as a luminous band on the sky. Uh, could there be a quasar field there? We find that to within the precision of our measurements, the Andromeda galaxy is heading straight in our direction. What this means is that the galaxies will collide and they will merge together to form one new galaxy. The approach takes several billions of years because of Andromeda's great distance from us. But after about four billion years, the galaxies will have a direct collision or a very close encounter. The galaxies will get distorted and some of the stars will be thrown out into tidal tails. The galaxies will also be slowed down so that they fall back together, which will lead to a complete merger of the two systems six billion years from now. The distances between stars and galaxies are vast, so when the two galaxies collide, the individual stars will not actually run into each other. No individual star in Andromeda will directly hit our sun, and in fact, it is unlikely that any star would even come close enough to significantly perturb the Earth's place in the solar system. Uh, the, the bully in, the t in, this, in this crash, the truck in the crash, um, versus the car, and in, and, and in we will see that as Andromeda moves towards us, it'll get bigger on the sky and it gets close enough to distort our Milky Way. As the galaxies pass each other, bright new regions of star formation will light up the sky as gas gets compressed and forms new stars. Over time, the gas and dust will be lost from the system, the star formation ceases, and all that's left will be a bright elliptical galaxy filling much of our night sky, having replaced today's familiar view of the Milky Way. Follow about, I guess, the speeds, uh, um, uh, the, uh, the, the, the speed, and, um, and, and I guess. We cannot rule out that some star in Andromeda may hit our sun, or that some planet in Andromeda, if there exists some, which may well be the case, may hit a planet in our own solar system. But these are very, very small objects, and there's a lot of space between them. So, what we can say that the probability that this will happen is really, 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 really small.